Hello everybody, this video will show you where you can get the Anitas keepsake and uh, this um, amulet, as you can see there's something special about it, it has fire damage effects. Now as you know some side quests drop a uh, different type of item so if you get an item from side quest make sure to check it out because it might have something unique about it so don't delete it immediately. Now this can be good of course for uh, sorcerer to increase fire damage, it can be good also for the barbarian unique that deals fire damage. And basically I was doing, uh, you know, just walking around eliminating monsters uh, on my way to a, I think a nightmare dungeon. Uh, and then I limited this one and I got this item. This item is called Faded Old Painting. Now this is where it dropped for me, this is the most southern part uh, of Fracture Peaks. Right, you can see... Uh, where I am, this is the area. You can also see that there's a side quest called the price to pay and it's already marked on the map in this location. Travel to the blind borrowers. This is where I need to go. And once you gather, uh, you're gonna find an NPC that we need to talk to. And after you exhaust the dialogue, you need to uh, enter the cave. Now once in the cave, you can actually see there are two of them. First of all, one for the dungeon itself. The other one is a price to pay. Collect spider venom, eight of them. They're going to drop, of course, because there are many spiders in this dungeon. Once you collect all of them, it will tell you to return to Anita. You can quickly just spawn, uh, press the gate uh, icon and it will just teleport you back. Uh, again, she's going to be outside and you need to uh, use the boiling pot, interact with it. And then interact with Anita again. Uh, after you finish this, she's going to just go and you're going to finish this part of the quest. Again, it's not over yet. So you need to speak with Vera. Uh, Vera is going to be there. You can already see the icon just really uh, next to the pot and you can just interact with Vera. And after you exhaust the dialogue, uh, you need to collect an item is going to be on the ground. See, collect Anita's keepsake. Here it is on the ground. Now you receive an item, Anita's keepsake. It's a quest item. Then you need to find Anita again. You can see it already changed to another side quest called Poison Hearts. This is a continuous of the previous one. Right, so once you get to the area, uh, again, it's going to be marked on the map for you. If you continue just uh, doing the quest. Uh, if not, you just mark it. Uh, and then you need to find her and there she is. With kind of a red bubble around her. And there's a pot there that you need to interact with. Once you've done that, you interact with Anita again. Should we tell you to uh, speak with uh, uh, Gullius? So you need to go there. There are going to be quite a few enemies there. Or maybe not. Uh, then interact with him again. Uh, and then you're going to have the... Uh, help Anita uh, gather uh, rotten uh, levers. <clears throat> now you need to go to the zone there and uh, there are going to be different uh, uh, bodies that you need to... Uh, uh, Anita is going to do it automatically once you find them. Uh, for me it was kind of on the edges of the map, so just kind of circle at around the edges. I think uh, most of them will be there. So we know if you, by the way, when she find uh, uh, one so you know where to stop. And she's going to interact with it, like in this case you can see here. She's interacting automatically. And then you're going to move on. Yeah, it's not a body, by the way, it was something else. Uh, when you finish all of that, uh, you need to enter the hidden lead. Again, it will be marked for you on the map. Uh, so uh, this is the location. I'm going to cave in a tree. And actually, there, there's nothing. There's just a loading screen. And after that, you just kind of come out. I'm just going to show you. I'm not going to cut it. And you just need to follow Anita again. Uh, then you're going to reach uh, an area where there's a pot, you need to interact with it, you need to eliminate enemies there to draw their blood. So it's a little short fight. You can see also there's a fire source over there, so it's probably kind of related to her. That's why they drop. Uh, then you're going to fight uh, other enemies. And then uh, follow Anita again. You're just running after her all the time. Uh, then you're going to reach uh, this uh, you know, person that will eventually die. So you need to interact with Anita after that. Uh, then it tells you to return uh, to the uh, Gulia's hovel. 
And this is where actually we're gonna get the reward. Uh, so we need to interact with this NPC. And again, this uh, finished the secondary quest. And there you're gonna get an item. So again, make sure to keep it up. Gonna get XP as well. And this is the item that you're gonna get. And this is it. Yeah, so if you find this guide lit useful, again, if you find anything different or, yeah, so, yeah, just come across it because I didn't have, get any fire damage at all. So this is kind of, uh, look at it and say, all right, this is something different. And again, pay attention to the drops that you get on the quest and uh, just don't drop and they may be going to fit your build uh, perfectly. So make sure to check it out. Thanks for watching, everybody. Consider leaving a like and check out my other guides. More coming. I see you the next month. Thanks for watching. Cheers.